to start off a single collar tie, there are two ways we can get into it. I can think about snap down and pocket him to my other side so I can snap catch on my left so I'm actually pushing him into my other armpit or I could snap on the same slide okay so the whole idea is just snap down trying to get my thumb over to the back of his neck get a little pull like I'm trying to get him going like I have inside bicep outside I just want a little pop on his head so that my armpit or shoulder rolls over the top and then I catch I'm trying to grab his chin, but I'm actually quite deeper. All right, so my thumb is almost riding the edge of his um, jawline, and that's my handle. So I snap here, I'm, uh, I'm catching. And now my movement, I'm being very aware having this hand here. I don't want it. I can have an underhook, I can have here, I can pass it off. But I'm not being like kind of lazy and stupid here so he can grab my legs. I'm keeping my hips away, and I'm looking for a setup, but also being very, very heavy on his head, all right? All my weight is driving him down. So, either side of my catch, other side, same thing. All my weight is driving him. I'm looking to get, you see, almost my pinky in my hand starts wrapping around his chin. That becomes a handle that I can so, steer him with. same exact thing, I'm gonna go to snap down. Boom, I'll turn you this way. Now, when I feel like I'm actually gonna go for a choke, I could go for a standing guillotine, right? I could always do that. The problem with standing guillotine is that my height has to be pretty equal or higher than his height. I have to have the strength to pick him up. It's kind of a dick move. And it's small enough, too, you can get out of it. Yes, it is effective. DBD, douchebag Dan, if you guys remember him, hit the standing guillotine for years just being a dick. It works, all right? But let's just do it a little more strategically. All I'm gonna do now, instead of going for that, my hands are come through when I post on his shoulder, and then I'm gonna wrap my underhand on top, all right? So I keep my chest on top, and then my pinky, my all, all my hands on my forearm, then just roll my hand forward. It's a, it's a painful, shitty, choky, cranky, breaky choke. All right, snap, pop, and I post on the shoulder. It's like I'm, go, I'm not gonna go for the choke, I'm gonna post on the shoulder, give myself a little space to work, roll on top, and then roll my hand forward, okay? Your hand is doing this. You're just taking it from down below and rolling on top so it gets higher. And that's it, all right? We'll go kind of quick on this one because it's, uh, it's shitty to feel over and over and over again and you're gonna walk around like this. Now, instead of like trying to mess with his neck, I'm just gonna go back. I think I hop back and I'm also gonna pull in. So I got two handles. I've got my hand on his chin. I've also got a handle here. So I pop, boom. I drop him right down in front of me. I keep my legs away from him, all right? Now I'm gonna stuff the elbow and catch it. Right from here, I'm going to uh, yeah, fuck, let's go. I'm gonna roll through. All right, see how it rolls away, feeds my hand together, grab his lat the best I can, and then I start Homer Simpson walking. Three taps. So, again, okay, do the best I can. So, I hit my same thing, moving, I hit my snap down, or I get my front head locked. Now I hit a snap down, boom, stay, right? Now I'm gonna push and stuff and catch it all at the same time, trying to support that arm. I got a little pocket, and I dive tight. They have to dive in tight, this hand is feeding through. Now I get my grip and just latch. Now I can probably finish it right here. Well, maybe not. And then add a little walk. And if you need to, you just keep walking, 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 walking. Cool? Questions? Yeah, can you push the hand first before you? Do? So you could like, I could, like let's say I got this, I could have this right from here, and I could hit the takedown off of it. You know what I mean? Uh, you're just gonna hit the roll earlier because you already had the arm trap. The arm trap will come easier off the ground. All right, I hit my snap down. Let's say my snap down sucked. Boom, I just didn't get anything. All right, or was just weak. I'm now gonna go this way. I shift my weight and my knee underneath and go right to his ankle. So I grab it, I have a very tight grip around Cam's neck. So I grow his ankle, drive down, and I step right over the mouth, and then just, oh, I need to. Yeah, oh, you're tapping? Oh, kind of. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, my fault, buddy. <laughs> it's that big boy, dirty, grab your hand underneath the guy's throat and just crank the shit on it. I mean, it's just uh, nasty, but it's, it's very effective. Snap, boom. I can use circle to set this up. Come through, right in the mount, and just finish. Pull one more time. 
so I can't boom. Uh, yeah, he, well, kind of. He does shit like that. Yeah, yeah very catch wrestling is just that vicious grab anything and squeeze, break it style, which I like a lot. I think we all do. Cool. Questions? Let's go.